doesn't matter to me whether you tell me or not. I get paid either way. Way, 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 way. I've been hired to extract certain information. If you're not forthcoming with said information, we both know what has to happen. You understand the situation you're in? You understand the job I have to do? I'm gonna ask you one last time. One last time. Hi, that's me. I know what you're thinking. What did I do to get myself into such a predicament? Well, since I'm not going anywhere, let me tell you. It all starts with two words. Rubber Chicken. Rather, Rubber Chicken Incorporated. Bark, bark. You see, some independently funded scientists had stumbled upon an incredible discovery which Rubber Chicken Inc. had secretly purchased with the plan of making billions. The problem was, before they could get their hands on it, it was stolen. That's where I come in. I'm what you may call a gun for hire, and certain people in the business world need my services from time to time. Rubber Chicken Inc. offered me the ridiculous sum of one million dollars to retrieve the stolen goods. I went down to their corporate headquarters to get the information on this thief. It didn't take me long to track him down. I am the best in the business. I caught up with him along the Long Island Railroad, waiting to take the 832 out of Ronkonkoma. Now that I had my hands on the goods. Oh, crap. Now that I had my. Whoops. Pardon moi. <laughs> now that I had my hands on the goods, I had to know what exactly it was I had just beaten the guy silly for. Wow, I couldn't believe what I was reading. I couldn't understand it either. But it looked so complicated that I was sure it was worth billions. That's when I got an idea. I told them, instead of one million dollars, I want 50 million. You stand to make billions of dollars, so what's 50 million to you? If I don't hear back from you in two hours, I'm going to the competition. Rubber Nose and Glasses, Inc. Having made my demand, I decided to lay low for a while. Oh, I was staying at my friend Billy's place. That's Billy. Say hello, Billy. The phone never rang, so I decided to make good of my threat to go to the competition. The place was a ghost town. I thought I was the only one there. But I wasn't. There was someone else there, waiting to give me a message.
were on to me. I had to get out of there as fast as I could. I wasn't fast enough. And that brings us back to... Where is it? I didn't know. It was like it had vanished into thin air. Needless to say, I was pretty screwed. I never could figure out what happened to that formula. I did notice that a few months later, a relatively unknown company called Whoopi Cushion Inc. suddenly became worth billions. So whoever it was who wound up with the formula must have gotten rich. <laughs> but who? <laughs> 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 